I got my grape trolls up, so now it's time to get my grapes in the ground. Muscanine grapes and grapes in general are pretty forgiving plants. They do prefer to be planted in full sun in an area that's not prone to flooding. They also prefer slightly acidic soil. The rows are normally 10 to 14 feet apart, with the plants spaced at least 20 feet from one another in each row. Make sure you know whether your grapevines are female or cell pollinated plants. If the variety you choose is a female plant, you'll need a cell pollinated variety to pollinate it. Dormant plants can be planted in late winter, and if you're planting actively growing plants like mine, they can be planted after the last frost. Dig the hole three times wider than your pot and at the same depth as your pot. If your soil isn't great, mix a native soil 50-50 with the organic matter and backfill your hole with it. I'm using aged cow manure from our fields. If you're using potted plants, break up the root ball gently before placing them into the hole. Plant the grapevines with the topmost roots at the soil line, then tamp the soil into place gently. Water thoroughly to settle the rest of the soil and move any air pockets. Place a stake to so much reach your trellis wire next to your grapevine and loosely wire your plant to it. This will give your plant something to climb up on until it's big enough to reach the wire on its own. While your grapevine is still shorter than your trellis, you want to cut off all these extra vines down here, leaving one single strong vine reaching up for the trellis. The energy it used to put out uh, the vines down here is energy it could have used to reach the trellis up there. To prune these extra vines, you want to leave the leaf closest to the trunk. So you make the cut right about here. Right about there. Just everywhere you make that cut, you want to leave the leaf closest to the trunk. Now you have one strong vine reaching up to your trellis. And once this vine is right at your trellis, you'll cut it about an inch below your trellis and that will send off vines that you'll then train to go down your trellis. So right now we're just trying to get to our trellis and then you'll have vines that will go down your trellis.